Hello and welcome back to another episode of Primal Dino. This variation and episode featuring Vivian, Arcbow Ranger, you may have seen in my previous video. Go over it a little bit, but it is basically um, Primal Dino, what I normally use, except we got Vivian for a pretty versatile option, uh, buffing creatures with counters, giving them the important trample, uh, taking out various targets, that sort of thing. And then, of course, the minus five is nice in uh, game one because we could pull something we need. Rampaging, of course, uh, Death Gorge, Shifting Ceratops if we're against something with blue. So all around, I think it's a pretty fantastic option. Now, let's get into it. As always, if you haven't subscribed already, do so for more great dino content. Oh, that is beautiful being on the play. Nice seeing a uh, sheltered thicket, stomping ground. Pretty decent, pretty decent. It would be nice to use commune turn one, but gotta get sheltered thicket down since it's only uh, one of our two lands. If we had three, we'd probably go with commune turn one, but that is not the case. If we don't draw something we can play, commune should be able to dig for it. Hopefully Marauding Raptor survives. Ooh, Mono Red. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, that's beautiful. I do kind of like Ripjaw Raptor next turn, but I say we go ranging just to use up all our available mana, then next turn possibly go with Regisaur Alpha. And Ranging Raptors is a pretty fantastic blocker against Mono Red here. Oh boy, this could get out of hand pretty quick. Two runaway steamkin. We're gonna possibly want to take that out for sure. Hey, we're blocking some damage. We're getting two lands out of this. That's pretty fantastic, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think we got to take out one Steamkin with uh, Vivian. Uh, that is the question. Although I do like Galta next turn. That might be enough. Let's do that. Let's do that. I don't see him using the one Steamkin to block either creature. Oh, they do. All right. It's looking up for us. Yeah, we could just go Ripjaw or just go Galta right away. That'd be pretty good. Oh boy, Torbran. Well, I don't think that's going to save you. Oh, lovely. There we go. Ripjaw Raptor. Galta. Hasty. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so we know what they're all about. Bring in some light damage sweepers. Ooh, that is interesting. Um, well, as you can see, brought in Anger of the Gods. Uh, there should be a sideboard little window popping up there, but we got three lands. We got Anger. I think that is going to be pretty fantastic. Work out in our favor, at least. Hopefully we get a two drop, of course, but ooh, mono red, cavaclade, aggro, that sort of thing. Pretty fantastic, pretty nasty, but we got the card to kill him. We'll see if we can hold off as long as possible just to get the most value from Anger of the Gods. It's looking like it's going to be pretty good. Yeah, it's probably going to have to be next turn that we play it. And because uh, we're exiling uh, 
what's his name here? That guy. Um, I don't believe he makes tokens, so yeah, let's do it. Okay, that, that set him back quite a bit, quite a bit. But now we got the fantastic Ripjaw Raptor. Possibly use Vivian next turn, take out Torbran, and we'll be looking pretty good. Yeah, I think we just got to take him out, take him out. Don't want to let things get out of hand because they certainly can with Torbran. Oh, it is not looking good for them. Oh, there we go. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. That is what dreams are made of. Put some counters on some guys and we're good to go. Oh, just a uh, evisceration. This was fantastic. Don't really think they can do anything, but it might be it. Alrighty, well, let's go with the primal might finish. Oh boy. <laughs> 